Hello, my name is Enderance, and today, not only will I be teaching you how to make a test tube setup, I will also be teaching you how to clean your own test tubes. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's jump right in. So starting off with how to make a test tube setup, you will need some cotton balls, a test tube, and a Q-tip. So. If you want to see a more detailed one or my previous tutorial on how to make a test tube setup, please click the iCard here. And with that out of the way, let's go and start the tutorial. So as you bring your test tube, go to a bathroom and fill up the test tube halfway with water. And with your cotton ball, try to take off one third of the cotton, and depending on what size your test tube is, you would want to use one large one or one single cotton ball for a big test tube, like a one inch in diameter one, or one third for this kind. So with that cotton ball, you would want to use your Q-tip to push it down so that it would be fully submerged in the water. So once the cotton ball is fully submerged, gently tap the top of the cotton ball so that it would be fully damp, and use the other end of the Q-tip to clean off any water that might have leaked through. Then you can use the leftover cotton ball to close off the opening of the test tube. And that's pretty much it. So you've made a test tube setup. But here's the other end of the tutorial. You will need to know how to clean your test tube setup once it gets dirty. So this is one of my Fedoli Zero Fila Queens and she had to be moved because she was in a very dirty test tube and this species is well known to be a very very messy species so here's how to clean your test tube so as you can see this was her old test tube setup and it is very moldy so i will need to clean this straight away if i want to be ready for the upcoming nuptial flights so in my case since this is a small test tube i will be using my tweezers to try to take out the cotton ball but as you can see, I had some trouble trying to grip the cotton ball, so I just decided to push in the entire tweezers into the cotton ball, and then try to do a spin technique, and as you can see, that actually worked. This does take a bit of patience, so keep that in mind. Also be sure to clean your tweezers right after you use them. So what I did to actually clean the test tubes was I first rinsed it for a couple of seconds. I used a small portion of soap and put it into the test tube. Shook it around for about 2-3 to three seconds. Then I tried flushing out the soap with water for a couple more seconds. And there you go! That's pretty much how to clean a test tube setup, but it depends on how dirty your test tube is. So let's say you have a dirty test tube setup. If you want to clean this test tube, you will need to use the same exact steps as before. You will need to rinse, soap, shake, rinse, and this one is optional, dry. But since I'm using a larger test tube, this is a one in diameter test tube, you will need to use one square piece of toilet paper or any kind of tissue, napkin, etc. So like before, I rinsed this test tube for a couple of seconds to get out all of the dirt. Once most of the dirt is flushed out, I will then use soap. Put a bit of water into the test tube, shake the test tube for about 2-3 to three seconds so that it would be all soapy, dump out the water, and then rinse for a couple more seconds. Then this part is optional, but if you want to get out any of that leftover dirt, or if you want to dry off your test tube, then I would recommend doing this. With your toilet paper or any kind of paper you are using, make sure that you spin it or do this sort of motion to make it a bit thin. Put it into the test tube so that it would reach the other end. And depending on how big your test tube is, I would recommend using some tweezers if it cannot reach the other end. 
A little tip though, don't twist it around too much or else it's going to leave some bits of toilet paper at the bottom. Pretty much, this method works for every single kind of dirty test tube. In this clip, I'm trying to clean a test tube that had sand in it. And after cleaning, the results were pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. But let's say that you're stuck with the problem where you can't get the cotton out of the test tube if your tweezers are too small. You can either use a screwdriver connected to a nail or you can use a wooden skewer. And unfortunately, I don't have any wooden skewers at the moment, but I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to make a screwdriver connected to a nail to get out the cotton from the test tube. But I want to first start off by saying special thanks to Rob J's aunt for giving me this idea. His video is called Removing Cotton Wool from Test Tubes, tip for ants, ant keeping tutorial slash guide, so go check it out if you want to see his full on tutorial or a shorter tutorial on how to remove cotton balls from test tubes. It's very helpful, so go subscribe to him if you haven't already. But the material materials that you will need for this is a screwdriver, a nail, and some tape. So what you want to do is actually just tape your nail to the screwdriver using your tape and you're pretty much done. So more than likely, the screwdriver will be long enough to go inside the test tube and reach the cotton, and with the nail, you would want to pluck it into the cotton ball and slowly spin it around, but not too much or else the nail might fall off. The screwdriver and nail method is very, very useful, so I'd recommend doing that, but I've also heard that the wooden skewer method is also very helpful also, so try that one out too. However, if you're faced with a very dirty test tube, then I would recommend cleaning it about four times, because that's what I had to do over the course of about 30 minutes. That's like this test tube right here. This one is completely covered in uh, cockroach droppings, so you can understand what difficulties I had to go through. And so after rigorous cleaning, I finally got it to the point where there was like a little stain that I couldn't get off, but at least I did my best. And that's the end of the tutorial, so thank you guys so much for watching. Also be sure to wash your hands after you do all of this, if your hands might get dirty from all of the, you know, some dirt, sand, any cockroach droppings. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. My name is Enderance, another fellow ant YouTuber, and I'm signing off once again.